often asked why I enjoy training student pilots so much. Well, the answer is actually quite simple. It's a little bit like teaching preschool children. The student starts with no ability or knowledge of the subject, and within a very few short hours, the flying school set takes hold and leads to yet another pilot who will enjoy the freedom and the responsibility that comes with a pilot's licence. Today we fly with Peter and we work on building his skill set and his confidence. A great day out with some minimal weather as well. So come with us and enjoy. And by the way, if you'd like to receive a free monthly newsletter, then click in the more section below to join. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Tomorrow's a shorter day though, isn't you? No, same day. Oh, you go for the whole day as well, yeah, on yeah, a Saturday, yeah? yeah. Alright. Now, where do you think you... In relation to the taxiway, where do you think you are? Centre, left or right? I'm, uh, I think I'm a little bit left of centre. Okay, so push it to the right a little bit. That's enough, that's enough. That's it, easy. Back to your feet, that's good. A little bit more to the right. That's about the centre there. Oh, okay. So that gives you a clue. We're used to driving on the left because... Oh, so if I look at the... Don't look over the cowling. Where my left leg is, look, basically. Look down that line down there. That's better. And then you've got to prejudge this turn here just a little bit. So, so we're going to turn here? Yeah, just a little bit of brake, not much. Start a little early. Now start now. Not too hard. That's it. Go around. Yeah, perfect. We are there. And because we've got a solid... Do all the many marks you like, because rolling around my two feet for turning here. Training here. A solid yellow line up here says we can't cross it without making a call. Right, so we're going to stop there and make a call. Yep. Then. And we're going to push our right foot in just a little bit, so we can see another wing. So pull the brake on, push the don't cross, bit of right foot, or right foot. Just let it go a little bit more. A bit of power. That's it there. Let's stop it there. Now we can see under our wing. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's already got his wheels up. See that? Yeah. Quick, wasn't it? Um, um, so the reason we do that is so we can see under, under our wing. Yep. All right. Okay. Now, he's going to the training area. Yep. So he's not going to be a factor. We've got no one else out here. Yep. So instead of crossing and going all the long way round, yep. we're going to backtrack Track. two, three. And we'll do runners. a turn down the bottom. Exactly. Okay. So the call's going to be um, number eight, five, three, eight. Yep. Entering, 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 and backtracking. And backtracking two, yep. three. We do the run, up, the uh, run ups down there. Yes. Okay. Traffic Gawler, Jabiru 8538, entering and backtracking runway 23, Gawler. Perfect call. And without jamming your foot, this is where you start to preempt the corner. Yep. About there, I'd start now. Nice and smooth, that's it, feet are smooth, perfect. No stabbing, that's good. Lovely. Again, think about the middle. Got a dividing line here in the, the bitumen. Yep. But we can only do this because there's no gliders here. All right, if glider operations were going, we'd we have to be on that gravel. Yep. yep. Just relax your feet a little bit. If it gets a bit wobbly, just take both feet off just momentarily. That'll just help you to get your feet settled again. All That's right. better. A bit smoother. A bit like patting a cat. Actually, it runs pretty true if you leave your feet off anyway. But they all pull to the left. Yeah. That's the design. There's a rule in aviation that says never waste a good runway. Yeah. Take as much of it as you can get. Don't waste it. And you never stop on the gravel. Because it'll pick up stones on the prop. Right. Makes a real mess of a prop. Come into the middle before you get self lined up. Or the bit to the right a bit more. More, more to the right. More to the right? That's about there. Break on. And then we do our run-ups here. All right. Break on, break yep. on. Yep. Doesn't have to be hard. That's enough. Run-up checks. Ah. Safety brief what happens if. So if we have a engine failure and we've got runway left, then it'll be your aircraft and yep. you'll land it. If we're clear at the end of the runway, same thing. It'll be your aircraft and you'll find a paddock for us to land in. To the right-hand side. Yep. Own. yep. Uh, radio call in a minute and engine fails on takeoff. I just did. All right. Yep. So... So we're in the runway. The, the other thing we need to think about is if we ha if we have to get back down on the runway, we say we're taking off. We're doing say 60 knots climbing up. Yeah. We're not doing 60 knots across the ground. We're doing 60 knots up. Yep. So if we have an engine failure up there, we're very quickly going to lose all our speed. Yep. 
So we've got to get the nose down yep. so that we can come back down to land. Okay? So what I always say to myself, my last thing is, if I have an engine failure on takeoff, I will stick forward. Right. I've just told my hand what to do. Okay. Because yep. when it happens, your hand will just do yep. that. Otherwise, you'll do this and pull it back. Because fear makes you do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Always make sure I go forward. Yeah, right. It doesn't right. have to be jammed forward, right. but you've got to get the nose down very quickly. Right. Make call. Okay. Oh, and it's still neutral. That's good. So make a call. What would the call be? Uh, rolling for training. So it'll be traffic caller February 8538, runway 05, rolling runway 05 for training area. Call. Two, runway 23. Runway 23. Yeah, did, so I say, did I say 05 again? Yeah. Did I? So, but you'd say correction if you yeah. made them. Okay, that's fine, so get the brake off. And in your own time, make that call. Traffic caller, Chebaru 8538, rolling runway 23, or training area, caller. Yep, away you go. Ease the power in, it's going to go left, so get ready with your right foot a little bit. Ease it in, that's good. Right, keep your feet nicely, right, that's perfect. And watch your airspeed, 30 up, 40 knots. Now bring the nose wheel off the ground, pull it back, and just hold about there, hold it there. Hold it there, hold it. Relax your arm, it'll come up when it's ready, there it is there. And then nose on the horizon. Nose on the horizon, you've got to see the horizon, there it is there. Beautiful. That felt nice. Yeah. Nice smooth day today too. When we look here, this pink is your climbing. Right. So we've got a positive rate of climb. So we can ease the flaps up. You don't have to look at it, you just count to three. Turning crosswind. And there's the two ponds I told you about. Oh, yes. Don't yep. go any further than those. That's about right there. Good. Straighten it up there. And it'll be on your side, but you'll be able to see that five road intersection. Come out to the right just a little bit. You'll see it here in a minute. Oh, ah, yep. That's the five road intersection. Yep. And there's the finger of trees we talked about, the green. Just here? Yep. Alright. So we want to keep climbing, that's good. So we're climbing at about 85 knots. Yep, that's fine. Traffic caller Jabber 8538, downwind 23 for departure to the northern training area. Caller. I normally aim for the, the bottle factory over here. Right out. As a guide. Then look under your wing and there's the runway. Oh okay. So yep. We're sort of parallel to it. Yep. We could glide back there if we had to. Oh I see, yeah. We're parallel so we're down wind for we're two or three at the moment, yeah. Correct. Exactly right. So is eighty knots the best climb speed for these, is it? Well, no, you can climb up at sixty knots if you want to, but right. you're just really hammering the engine. Uh -huh. So if you look after the engine, it'll look after you. That's how I look at it. So we're just, we're mothering it up there nicely. Yep. 70, uh, uh, 70 knots is your initial climb out, but then 80 knots for what we call cruise climb. Right. About there, straighten it up. Now, what was it you wanted to call? Wanted to uh, so I've just been reading about the, um, just the basic aircraft handling stuff. Yep. And it talks about um, the stable nature of the aircraft, like dynamic stability and yep. static stability. So uh, an aircraft which has good stability means that I can change the configuration so I could bank, bank it and then let go and it should self-stabilise or I could push the nose down and let go then it should self-stabilise. Yep. yep, okay. All right, my controls for a minute? Yep. Okay, so let's just play with that for a little bit. So let's just set ourselves up here. So I'm not going to do anything except keep the wings level. Right. Okay, as best I can. So at the moment we're coming down. Yep. Not going to touch anything. We're going to, what happens when we go downhill? The okay. speed increases. Yep. From 89 to 94. Yep. 95. As it gets faster, it gets more lift. Right. So as it gets more lift, guess what's going to do? It's going to push up. Yep. It's going to go up. Not going down now. That's starting to go up. Actually, you did this last time we flew. It did this whole kind of dolphin thing. Yeah, I okay, remember right. that. Yeah. Yep. So again, if we just <coughs> the power a little bit. Exacerbated a bit more. So now we're coming down, look at this. Oh, picked that up, did you? Yep. We're going down now? Yep. But we're going faster. Yes. 98, watch the nose. Coming up slowly, yep. I'm not doing anything. Right. 
But so, this is puffing and puffing uphill, what do I do now? I'll go right. slow. So the nose will go down again. So for the for this aircraft, this is its stable configuration? No, you can actually make it very stable. If all I right. put a little bit of power on, it's all to do with the trim. So if I get that nose in the right position here, 2,800 revs, that's our normal cruising speed. Yep. About there. And if I trim it just correctly, it most probably, no, it's going to lose a little bit of height here. Trim it a little bit more. Let's keep the wings level, there we are, straight and level, doing 93, 94 knots. Right? The weight of the aircraft is in the nose. Right. Okay? More weight there than behind. So if we take the power away altogether, just slowly bring it back, what's going to happen to the nose? Watch the nose. Drops. Yep. Will it go into the ground is the question. No, it's going to pick up speed and it'll start coming up again. Uh, still going down. Because <laughs> the weight of the engine's pulling it down. Ah, oh, right, okay. Because yeah. we haven't got enough power to maintain, yeah. To maintain that weight. So your aircraft? My aircraft. So we, we're going to climb, We come, the temperatures are coming up bit by bit. So we want to climb up to 2,000 feet again. Right. Yeah. So we always climb with full power. So just ease the power into it, bang it in, just ease it in. Nice and gentle on it. That's it. Push, 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 push. So you're doing well. Climbing up at 80 knots. Yep. We've got nearly full power, but just to stop that vibration, I've got a little bit left. Just rev the quarter back a little bit. So there we are, 2,000, near enough. Attitude. Power back to 2,800. Don't get in too far. Out there. Enough. And then trim it so it doesn't come up or down. About right. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice what I looked at your notes from the last one, we want to do climbing and descending turns. Okay. Okay? So here we are straight and level. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it hard for you. Right. I'm going to say climb left. Right. Out. Descend right. Descend left, climb right. Like okay. And you have to think about what you have to do. Right. Out. Yep. And don't worry if you don't respond quickly. I want you to think about what you have to do. So here we are basically sort of say straight and level. Yep. I want you to climb left. All right. So I'll set up the attitude first, then I'll add power, and then I'll start doing the climbing. You do it? No, you don't need to turn first. But my, my control just for a minute. Yep. So what, what it would look like, if I just bring it back again. So if I want to climb left, it's this. Power on, and climb left. I have a vibration there. Okay, climbing left, then if I say descend right, Okay, watching the ball in the middle. Now I want to climb right. Now climb left. Get the idea? Yep. So it's not it's not to be rushed. <laughs> no, okay. That's fine. But just get yourself straight and level again. Right. Head back that one. It's actually a very nice turn by the way, it's a really nice turn. If you're gonna push this back, yep. you've got to use the foot that goes with it. Right. If you think if you think about this is your right hand yep. is attached to the right pedal. Okay. Yep. And the left hand is oh, sorry, and the left stick is attached to your left. Right. So what I would suggest you do, just you you I'm in control, my yep. control for a minute. So what I would suggest you do is you lead with your foot. Right. Yep. So what you feel my feet? I'll lead with the foot and I bank them. Alright, yep. Look at the ball. Yep. The now I want to go right. So I lead with my foot, right foot. Yep and right stick. Okay. Ball stays in the yep. middle. The idea? Yep. Don't fixate on that. You get the idea. Your controls? So, in your own time, think about this. I want you to, to descend left. A descending yep. turn to the left. So, back off the power a bit. Yep. And a nice gentle bit. No, not too severe. About that enough. Now climb right. Not too steep, don't need a steep, just a nice climbing turn. About that, that's good. And use the trim to take the weight out of your hand. Now descend right. That's it. Now climb left. That's it, I felt your foot then, it's good. Not too steep, not too steep. 
Austria. No need to rush it. Relax. Right it out there. Your hand. No, no, no. I want those two fingers around like that. <laughs> Sorry, can't, can't grip properly. That's right. You should better look, watch my, my controls for a minute. Yeah. Two, watch this, two fingers. All right. Yeah. I want to go to the right. Two fingers. I don't need that vice like grip on the But that will help you stop it. <laughs> keep it there, keep it there. So the other question would be, what happens if, going on your stability question you gave me before, what happens if we're in a turn, right? Yep. And for some reason, will it control itself? So my control's just for a minute. So I'm just going to bring the power back here a little bit. I'm just going on a nice gentle turn to the left. The ball in the middle, arms folded. What's going to happen? It's the turn is slowly increasing. It's banking more and more. Yep. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Come out of that. So eventually we're going to play onto the ground. Uh, that because I I read about that part where it says that as you bank over the inside wing uh, will start to stall and then you'll get you're getting oh, less lift off that one. Yep. And more, cause this one's going really fast. Yep. So it's it's a bit like soldiers. You know, the, I was in the army, so you've got the guy in the middle who just has to march around the centre. Yeah. And you've got, you've got the guy on the outside running like mad. Yeah. So this outside, if I do a turn this way to the left, that outside wing is getting a lot more lift than the inside wing. Right. Because yep. it's going faster. Yep. Through the air. So it's getting lift, so it's trying to tighten and tighten and tighten yep. the turn until we hit the ground. Yep. So if we just straighten level here, and I do nothing more than use my left foot. No, you, you do your left foot. So push your left foot in. Don't touch anything. So the nose is coming around, isn't it? Yep. But where's, the, where's it going now? Going further around. Down at 500 foot a minute. Yeah, it's and getting faster and falling faster. Falling out of the sky. So yep. to use your right foot. Yeah. Use your right foot. And it picks up the wing again. That's not how we teach you to fly, but that's how you get out of a stall. Right. Because you're starting okay. to spin. Yeah. Okay. So they're quite responsive, the rudder controls, aren't they? Oh, the big rudder. Yeah. My little uh, jabber, I had a very small rudder, was not very responsive. <laughs> a lot of fun, though. So that's the effect of us using a rudder only. Right. So this time, if you watch the, the centre of the nose, the yep. nose cone, and I push the stick to the left, yep. well, you do it. You can do it. So now you put that bit in your finger, I'll do that on me. <laughs> so I want you to tell me, when you go to yank it to the left, tell me which way the nose goes. Go now. It goes there, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes right, yeah. So keep it, just leave it, there, leave it there. But again, it'll stay in that bank now. Yeah. And we'll start descending. Now it's dropping, yeah. You can feel it. Yeah. So gently come out of that. Nice turn. Perfect turn. Can we come out of it again? Got the idea? Yep. So that stopped you doing that, stopped it doing that, hasn't it? Because <laughs> even in the most dark days of whatever you're doing, that's yeah. as much tension as you should have. Yeah. That will not work. Because you get this muscle up here gets tight, but you can't, it won't work. You need dexterity. Because even then, look at small, hold it, hold it, you hold it, you've got to try. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, take yeah, much, yeah. does it? So you don't, gripping it doesn't work. So, we haven't got much of a horizon out there. What do you think? Are your wings level or not, do you think? Uh, no, don't look out that way. You can see out in front. Uh, it looks not it's too level bad. now. Yeah. yeah. Basic, see the black of the, of the here? Yeah. Like this bit here, right? Or that bit there. And whatever horizon you've got, if I do that... Yeah, it looks wrong. Yeah, it looks wrong. So, that's you use that as your guide. Yeah. And you're not coming up or down. You're coming down a little bit. That's okay. But we're only doing 2,600. So, we can go to 2,800 because power gives us height. Yes. Yep. So if we, don't, if we have it trimmed as you've got it now, let go of the stick for me. You are okay? No, no. Okay. So if, if we do nothing more than push that in, you push yep. it in, see what happens. Don't touch this. What's the nose doing? Coming up. So there you are. Power is height. Yep. Okay. We don't want to climb anymore, so bring it back to 2,800 again. 
and get your horizon looking right again. And that view there, whatever that looks like to you, is the view you want to remember. Right out. So this is a mandatory reporting point. All right, yep. You've got to say that call. Even if you're coming so, in. Any time now is good? Yeah, well, once you get over it, yeah. we expect you to be there. Because a lot of traffic coming in from the east comes in this way. Right out, yeah. And therefore they want to know, I want to know where they are. Traffic Gawler, Jabiru 8538, at Gawler Dam, 2,000 feet inbound, Gawler. Actually 1,800, but we don't mind. You could say correction 1,800, by that. Correction 1,800. Yeah, just to... But the other thing... Just we for the practice. Yeah, yes. but what we haven't done, we don't know whether our radios work, do we? No, we, no, we haven't heard anyone else, yeah. no, no. no. So how could we check? We've got no one here to check. We could check with Adelaide. So flip it across. I'll make the call for you today. Uh, Adelaide approach, uh, Jabiru 86, uh, correction 8538, uh, radio check. Jabiru 8538, reading your five. Five well, thanks. Done, then yep. flip it back again. So now you know we're sending and receiving. Yep. Okay? We didn't know that before, did we? No. So how silly of us would it be to take off and not know our radio was working? Yeah, I guess we heard that other guy that was but leaving. Did but did he hear us? Well, we don't yeah. know, do we? And descent to 1,500? 1,200. 1,200, yeah. So what's all this misty stuff out the front here? You reckon? Cloud? Yeah, water yeah. vapour. Yeah. Okay, so this is why we days we'll get carburetor ice. That's right. So power back, that comes out. I can see these are cooling down. Oh, very quickly. Yeah. But you're doing the right thing. We're still coming down with the power on, which is good. Yeah. So keep coming down. Keep the wings level. About there. And as we get near it, which we are now, keep coming yep. down. Then we go power. 2,900. About there. Power, power, power. 2,900. Attitude. Get the picture right out the front here again. About there. And then trim it to hold it there. That right? Yeah, good. So now we're parallel to the runway. Yep. Wing over, you can have a look. Yep. The runway. And we, when we get to that uh, crosswind where those sheds are over yep. there, okay. we'll turn right. And we'll turn crosswind here, okay. Correct. And we'll stay at 1,200. You don't have to be pedantic, you turn a little bit earlier if you wanted to. Right. That's up to you. So we're going to turn crosswind, then now. we're going to now? Yep, I'll go start now, that's fine. The further you go that way into Gaul, oh, right. yep. it's more of the worse it gets. See your finger of trees up there? Ah, uh, yes, yep. That's, that's where you're heading for? There, yep. So now we're sort of 90 degrees to the runway? Oh yeah, I'm with you, yep. And then straighten Keep up there. Yeah. How about there? That's fine. Straighten up there. Make a call there. Turn. Traffic Gawler, Jabiru 8538, turning downwind 23, Gawler. Good call. So there's the bottle factory there coming up. Aim for that and that'll put you parallel to the runway. Alright, so the, uh, the bottle there, factory yeah. there? Yep. And there's the runway there. Oh yeah, oh that's nice, yeah, okay. okay. So if we have an engine failure, we can get back there. Yep. That's the whole idea. So we've got enough altitudes if Finish the turn and get down. Correct. Yeah. So my controls, I'll do the first, I'll show you the first landing, right? So you okay. sit back and yep. enjoy yourself. And I'll talk you through what I'm doing. Right so we've done what our landing checks, which we would normally do. Yep. Um, I can't set the flaps until at least under 80 knots. Right. Out. Okay, so I'm going to put one stage of flap down. Okay. Yep. That's helps slowing me down. And you'll see there's a can you see the cemetery over there? Uh, the oh one. yes, yep, yep. And, oops, sorry. And then there's this triangle of, of uh, house uh, with a roundabout in it. Yes, I can see the roundabout, yep. Okay, so that's going to be my turning point. Right. And I need to turn it about 70 knots. Right. Okay, so I've got the carb heater on, fuel pump is on. So this is the base leg. Yep. Okay, and I'm watching my airspeed here, we're on about 70 knots. About 70 knots. Yep. And there's the roundabout there. Yep. We don't like teaching people landmarks, but this is a very tricky airfield to play with. So it's better you have good points to look at. 68 knots, I'm watching there, so I'm now coming down. I'm right down a thousand feet, and I'm looking at the runway, and that's a picture you've got to look to remember what it looks like. All right. It's yep. what we call a profile, it's an angle. Okay, so yep. bring the power back a little bit more. 68, 70 knots is there, good. 
Now we're going to go full flap. It's a nice day today. And we'll turn right. Oh. Traffic uh, Gawler, Jabber 85388, uh, turning final, 23 touch and go, Gawler. So now I'm doing a nice turn here. A bit more. 70 knot turn, and there's the runway, right? And we land on the gravel, not the bitumen. So we take off on the bitumen, but we land on the gravel. Okay? So all I'm doing now is watching my airspeed, and I have a point at which we call it an aiming point. See the two white marks on the bitumen? Yes. Sort of about that's where I'm aiming. I'm not going to land there, but I'm aiming. And I watch my speed here. 63, 64, that's where I want it to be. So I can control the speed with this, yep. right? or, or this. Or the power. Yep. So now I'm just going to glide from there. So you're maintaining about 60 knots yep. here. I don't yep. want to get much lower than 60, but it's about there. And your aim point is between those two white marks. Now I'm aiming in front of those, but initially when you're flying, yep. you'll, you'll aim a bit further down the track, right? So I'm watching the speed here, a little bit slow. Once we're over here, we can then start to come down. And we're going to fly, I'm not going to land, we're just going to fly along the runway so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we're coming down nice and smooth, and we don't make it land, it'll land when it's ready. So if I just keep pulling it down, keep coming down, keep coming down, holding it there, holding it there, holding it there, holding it there. Front wheel's still in the air, see yep. it up there? If so I can leave it there, I'll go full power. And then I get some airspeed, so I only do yep. 55 knots. So I get down near the ground again. Yep. I've got full flap out, that's okay. 67 knots, now I can ease the first stage up. Up to one. Boom it to hold it there. And it's doing itself. Alright. No pressure, no rush. Take your time. And if the worst came is the worst, if we didn't have enough runway, we'd just stop. Pull up and then yep. turn around and go okay. back and try it again. Okay? Not land. 63 knots, that's perfect, just keep the nose go. Don't pull away from it, just keep it coming down, keep it coming down. Don't force it, just let it come down of its own accord. Nice and slow. Perfect approach. Keep coming down, keep coming, not yet, oh, not there yet. Way off yet. Now we're going to put a little bit of power on. Fly along it. And see what happens when you do this. Yep. Yeah, it's all over the shop in here. Alright, so just fly along it, there it is there. Bit of right foot, there it is there. Oh, we started at a landing. Oh, right, yeah. And, and another one. And another. Hey. <laughs> Full power go. Right. Full power down. Trim, trim it back to hold it there for you. Come to the right, down right the middle. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. It'll work, don't make it land, it'll come down when it's ready. And about, keep coming down, about now to start to bring the stick back slowly, just bring it back slowly and hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. And you did your own landing. So now we want to gently slow it down. So I didn't touch that, you landed that one. Oh, good. Alright. That felt nice, that one. Yeah, because you went in a rush. Don't rush it, if you rush it, it'll... It'll botch every time. For some reason, I want to pull the stick back way more than you were sort of guiding me. You saying just because you're flying along yeah. the runway. Yeah, and the plane will land itself. Actually, over there, just here. Yep.